five games to go and we're top of the league. Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome to uh, episode 17 of Rebuilding Derby. Coming up on today, today's episode, I've got two games for you in EFL League One. We're at home to Burton Albion and to Swindon Town. Since you were last with me, we've been in very good form. We haven't lost a match. And uh, let's uh, get into the, uh, the Burton game, see if we can keep that going. And this is the lineup that's going to go and try and do that. Although I just need to make one quick change. RAB. If we can find a replacement, we will go with Harrison Solomon. There he is. So the lineup will be Calrus in goal, back four of Hamer, Fish, Solomon, and Revan, Max Bird at the base of midfield, Jason Knight and Louis Sidley in central midfield, Ryan Longman and Joel Randall, the wingers, and Tom Bradshaw up front. Let's go and win the game. So we're going to give the, uh, the lads a quick team talk, given that we drew the last game. Um, we will go a little bit easy on them, but not too much. We'll punt the fists. Um, so we've been on a good run. So go and impress me and let's send them out. And we'll just keep an eye on what happens in the first few minutes. So it's with their goalkeeper, Dixon, plays it forward. But it's uh, picked up by Hamer in our right back position. Longman looks for help, gets it from Fish. Gives it to Knight. Knight gives the ball away. But we're putting them under a little bit of pressure. Oshilaja manages to find O'Connor. O'Connor gives it away to Longman. Longman goes left to Sibley. Sibley goes through the middle to Bradshaw. Bradshaw to Longman, but Longman's shot goes wide. And that's the end of our highlight. So we're going to. Um, it's too early to demand more yet. So we'll give it till 15 minutes. We've had another shot, and it was on target. Although not worthy of the highlight. Nothing much happening, so. Uh, I think it probably is about time for a demand more. Um, Burton are a good side. They're in the playoffs in fifth position. So a point is not disastrous at this stage, but uh, we're looking ideally for all three. And we've had one more shot on target, so let's demand more again. Randall's having a bad game and Sibley looks like he's going to struggle to finish the game as does Longman uh, we need another demand more as soon as possible 33 minutes gone it's still nil nil so demanding more again Randall is having an absolute mare and Bradshaw now is the one who's really struggling fitness wise he probably won't see much action in the second half if any at all and in fact Longman is coming off at half time as well so that'll be a double change at half time far from pleased so we need to bring on, let's go with Bradshaw off for Abby away, he's our youngster, and uh, Ryan Longman is also injured. So we'll put um, Jason Knight up up to the uh, wing 
and bring on Regan Slater and that will do we'll send them out with those two changes made and see if we can grab a goal to get us what would be a crucial victory we do remain top of the league so it's not an absolute disaster but we are only one point ahead of third place Rotherham at this stage and we are very much looking for a goal to take us to uh, the brink of promotion it doesn't look like it's going to be forthcoming Randall's having an absolute nightmare he's going to have to come off I'm going to have to play um, Harry and B's going to have to play on the wing which is not ideal he's quick but I don't think he's a winger this is a real roll of the dice attempt I won't be playing him out here very often if at all again doesn't seem to be paying off because there's no highlights but Knight with the corner Ari and B heads it just over we have at least had a highlight which is more than we've had for quite a while let's demand more again it's Sibley with the free kick Tom Hamer with the header Derby County 1 Burton Albion, no. Ten minutes remain. And this could be a massive goal in our season. Hamer was just too strong in the air for the uh, Burton defender. Comfortably onside. And we're hoping to just see the game out nice and comfortably as we've got several players who are starting to tire Hamer's obviously got slightly different ideas he's gone down the line to uh, Knight Slater with the ball across Ari and B picks it up Sibley to Slater Hamer chips it across volleyed clear but only as far as Dominic Revan Revan goes down the line chips it into the area Ari and B came in off the wing and heads it over two minutes remain but we've now got four minutes of added time to negotiate and having conceded a goal in added time in our last match to drop two points I'm not going to change anything this time and we've managed to hold on for a narrow win in the uh, first match of the episode so we'll go outstretched arms um, well done good win they're a decent side so I don't want to uh, be too critical of the lads for a narrow victory and we're just waiting for the uh, the post-match uh, formalities and any uh, conversations with the press they do indeed want to see us today as we've secured a playoff position they're still a good side can be pleased with our defensive performance um, yeah absolutely Very pleasing. I hope Charlton stick with him. And there we go. And I'll just show you the uh, the updated league table so you can see it. 
So after the first match of the episode, we're top of the league. Three points clear of Rotherham in third place. One point clear of second place Birmingham. Four games remain. And I will see you very shortly for the second match of the episode. Time now for the uh, second match of the episode as we face uh, Swindon Town at home. And uh, this is the team that's going to go out there and try and win it. It's Cal Roos in goal. Back four of Kane Ramsey, Will Fish, Bright, Arian B and Tom Hamer. Regan Slater at the base of midfield. Louis Sibley and Max Bird in central midfield. Ryan Longman and Joel Randall on the wings. Tom Bradshaw up front. Let's go and uh, do our team talk. So we're going to give the uh, the lads a bit of a, a bit of encouragement. It's a on paper an easier game than the last one, so uh, so we will put a, a few demands on them. But uh, at this stage, we do need to uh, to keep confidence going. So let's outstretch the arms. Um, Stick to the plan, stay patient, and we'll be fine. And let's kick this game off. So we're dropping in courage to start with. And then we'll take it from there. Slater gives it to Randall. Randall goes for a ball over the top. It's headed back to uh, Willacott, the uh, swimming goalkeeper. He holds on to it for significantly longer than the uh, seven seconds you're supposed to hold on to it. It's headed to Longman. Longman gives it to Bradshaw. Out wide to Ramsey. Ramsey inside to Sibley. Sibley goes down the line. He's asking a lot of Ramsey, but he's got there. And it's headed in by Tom Bradshaw. Derby one. Swindon nil, two minutes gone. And we will just watch the uh, the replay from the other angle. So uh, Ramsey down the, down the line goes back to Sibley. Sibley plays it ahead of Ramsey. Ramsey first time cross. Keeper comes, doesn't get there. And Bradshaw's got the simple task of heading into an empty net. Everything is looking reasonably good at the moment. We just need to keep this going. Although Swindon are, have now had more shots and narrowly ahead on XG. So I might hit them with a demand more at this stage. Can't have them getting complacent. do with the second goal just to uh, try and kill Swindon off as quickly as possible and it's Slater with a corner it's fired into the area but it's headed clear and Buttroid's on it comes forward somebody needs to get a tackle in here but Buttroid's crossed it straight to uh, Cal Roos Roos rolls it out to Fish Fish runs it forward. Not quite sure where he's going with this. He's gone a very long way. He's now gone backwards to uh, Ramsey, but he's got it back again. Slater goes back to Fish. Fish gives it to Ramsey. Ramsey goes for a run down the line. Back to Slater. Back to Fish again. Sibley to Bird. Bird back to Ari and B. Down the left this time with Hamer, Randall, back to Hamer. Hamer plays it forward, Randall again, crosses. Bradshaw tucks it away, it is now 2-0. Two, 2-0. And that's a good, we've had a good 20 minutes in this one. So Hamer and Randall exchange passes. Hamer plays it to Randall for a third time, Randall Pulls it back. Bradshaw's completely unmarked in the centre to make it 2-0. And 
23 minutes gone. Birmingham losing. Now it's uh, Swindon on the attack. But Troy is on a yellow card. He's given it to uh, Reed. Reed goes backwards to Astley. Body Mayo goes right to Conroy. Conroy plays it forward. It's hit the post. Hamer gives it back to Roos. Fish to Slater. Longman and the highlight ends. Charlton are beating Rotherham, which is helpful. So Rotherham and Birmingham are both losing. But it, uh, it remains a, a four horse race for the uh, two promotion spots at this stage. Longman was a bit of a, a tough tackle. It's headed. Sibley can't get there, so Swindon have the chance to come again. Vassell scores. Kyle Vassell scores for Swindon. That's not good. Terrible defending. We don't want to see the replay, so we'll uh, we'll miss out on that. Thank you very much, and we'll demand more. It's a corner, Sibley. Crosses into the box. Arian B with the header. Gets his 16th goal of the season. This guy's a defender, remember. But he's got 16 goals for the season. It's Derby 3, Swindon 1 before half time. That's an absolute great header into the roof of the net. Derby fans behind the goal going absolutely potty. As Fleet would go 2 0 up against Birmingham. And we're now four points clear of Ipswich and Birmingham. As it stands. And six clear of Rotherham. That's an excellent first half. So we'll pump the fists. Doing well. Send them out. And there isn't anybody I want to change at this stage. So we'll uh, drop an encourage at this stage. That seems to have upset them, so give it till 70 minutes and then we'll demand more. Try and fire them up for an effort for the last 20. Sibley with a corner, floats it in, Arian B's got himself another one, 4-1, that's his 17th of the season, from defence, and it's a really low flat corner this time, and Arian B just uh, heads it into the corner. We're looking uh, nailed on for promotion at this stage. And there's not anybody I want to uh, take off at this stage. Not making a substitution for the sake of it. But we've now got a couple of players who are struggling with injuries so, or struggling with fitness. So we'll uh, on 70. 70 minutes gone. We'll take off Longman, who is the right winger, and bring on Jason Knight. And we'll take off Bradshaw if we can. Max Kucharavi can play up front, so we'll give him a go as a striker. And we will take off Sibley. He's the other one who's struggling a little bit. And we'll give 
uh, Isaac Hutchinson are going midfield. And those changes should see us through the last 20 minutes. At 4 1 up, we shouldn't be in any danger. As we're inside the last 15 minutes. We've completely dominated this game. Swindon have been utterly blown away. And we're hopefully going to just see out the last five minutes. Be quite happy if there's no further highlights. Nice comfortable end to the game. Charlton are now ahead against Rotherham. And that drops Rotherham to fourth. And it surely now is between us, Ipswich and Birmingham for the uh, two automatic promotion spots. So we're going to outstretch the arms. Very, very well done. Excellent result. We'll uh, go and uh, talk to the media. And then we'll, uh, we'll wrap the episode up by uh, announcing when we're uh, going to come back. So just waiting for those uh, media conversations now. And there is one, so we'll get straight into the press conference. Uh, terrific performance. Um, I felt confident the game was won. We were inspired. Um, he has a release clause. Uh, home advantage exists. And there we go. Right, so we'll just quickly show you the uh, Skybet League One table in full let's go for the full version there it is so we're top of the league 86 points from 43 games so we cannot be caught by anybody below rotherham so we're guaranteed at worst fourth place and uh, it's completely in our own hands to uh, to gain promotion four clear of birmingham so uh, we will have a look at what games we've got left. We have three games to go. And we have got, we're away at Shrewsbury, at home to Cheltenham, and away at Rotherham. So what I'm going to do, I'll bring you back for the Rotherham game on the final day of the season, unless we have a chance to clinch the title in the Cheltenham game, in which case I will then show you Cheltenham and Rotherham. But uh, I will show you the Rotherham game, and if we do get uh, to get, if we have to go through the playoffs, I will then show you the uh, the playoffs as well, and that will take place tomorrow. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.